Where's Yamanoi? He's... He's disappeared. What? That's not all. All the property contracts and other important documents that Yamanoi-san managed are gone too. Someone stole them? No. That's impossible. They were kept under lock and key in a safe, so no one other than Yamanoi-san had access to them. The only thing I can think of is that Yamanoi-san took them. Why would he do that? If you're looking for Yamanoi, he's with the Finance King. Mm -hmm. The Finance King? Oh. Yeah. My boy saw him heading up to Finance King's place. It's called the Billionaire's Room. They said he was carrying a bunch of documents. Why would Yamanoi-san do such a thing? Knowing the Finance King, he probably bought out Yamanoi with a truckload of money. Seriously? Hey. Yep. Now that the five billionaires have collapsed, the only place left that controls property rights across Kamurocho is right there. Right here, the Yamanoi Agency. Buy this place out, you've got Kamurocho. Mm. How could Yamanoi-san be bought out? That doesn't sound like him at all. Yeah. I don't know. But the Finance King's financial resources are extraordinary. With the amount of money he could offer, even an honest man would be swayed to the dark side. No. Hey, listen! We got bad news, Kiryu. Mm -hmm. What's going on? The Finance King's minions are attacking your properties all over town. Daddy. What? This is what happens when the Finance King comes after you. If the property deeds are gone and, and, and our businesses are ruined by a bunch of thugs, there's nothing we can do. Game over. Get it? I'm the video game character. <laughs> then what are we gonna do? Carry us on. You're gonna have to punch a lot of people. Uh, you're gonna need to go directly to Finance King. There's no other way. Please stop Yamanoi-san before he hands the deeds to the Finance King. Oh. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. We'll figure out a way to keep these thugs under control for now. We'll hold off any more property damage, so you go and deal with them. But... We owe you, man. Let's, let's pay, let us pay you back. <laughs> Besides, we were his accomplices. This is a good chance for us to make amends for what we did. The Finance King should be at the Billionaire's room. The Pleasure King has a car ready for you. They'll be waiting at the Tenkaichi st Street entrance. Got it. Until I get back, I'm leaving this office and this town in your guys' hands. Oh. Got it. Oh my god, it's a redemption arc. Now they're protecting the place that they were exploiting. Kiryu saves the world again. The Finance King and Yamanoi are at the billionaire's room. The Pleasure King has got a car ready. I'd better head to the Tenkaichi Street entrance. I just want to point out how many games I play, specifically in the AAA se sector, because actually indie games and stuff like that actually are better at this usually. A lot of the AAA games I play completely fail to put together one cohesive story in their entire game, period. And this game manages to have two cohesive stories, arguably three, arguably four. I never, I don't know what, uh, so it has the Kiryu storyline, and it has the Majima storyline, but there's also the Kiryu uh, finance storyline, and there's also Majima's job storyline, which I didn't experience because it was a whole other can of worms to open up that would make this even longer, unfortunately. It's a lot to process. That's the wrong quest. Oh, oh, they're both next to each other. Okay, that's why. It's just super impressive that one game managed to do both of them have several co cohesive, proper storylines that have, like, an arc and acts and everything like that, where so many AAA games nowadays are so crammed and crushed, and, like, they had to... There's always crunch and, like, ch changes to plans and corporate mandates and all these mistakes that happen along the way that the story just gets garbled and lost along the way and is often just plastered across the game as an afterthought. And it's just... <laughs> it's, it's so crazy to see how much better this works out. <laughs> There you are, Kiryu-chan. I've got a car ready for you. Are you ready to go settle things once and for all? Uh. Yeah. I'm ready to go. Mm. Are you sure you want to go solo? I could come as an escort, you know. Yeah. No, I'm fine. I need you to help the others protect our properties and people in them from the Finance King's henchmen. Who knows what else he'll try when Yamano and I are gone. For you, I'll do anything. Remember, though, the Finance King is a cold, cruel man. You just watch yourself, honey. I'll give you a nice hot kiss when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You really don't have to do that, though.
Let's like I said, Kiryu, you're gonna have to punch a lot of people. Hey, those are the people we gotta punch. Yamanoi san. Kiryu san. So you've come after all, Kazuma Kiryu. Those papers. These are the deeds to all the properties you fought so hard to collect. Without them, all your efforts up until now are meaningless. I had my dear friend Yamanoi bring them to me. I merely offered an appropriate sum of money and he readily agreed. Even the man who brought you into this business with his inspirational word worlds about saving this town and its people is now doing my bidding for cold hard cash. It really is all about the money, Kiryu-san. There's nothing you can trust more than money. And nothing's more useful than money. Surely you understand that by now. Yamanoi, don't hand that over to him. You told me you didn't want Kamurocho ruined by money games. Was that all a lie? Say something, Yamanoi. <laughs> There's nothing you can say or do. I'm busy taking over Kamurocho. Would you mind not wasting any more of my time? Boys? <laughs> Kiryu-kun, thick-headed peasants like you have, need to have an understanding of the world beaten into them. These men are the best that money can buy. So, what do you think? Any kind of power simply boils down to finances. Prepared to be crushed under the weight of an overwhelming financial pa- Oh. Wait, what? I think that might be- that actually might be a typo. I think the past tense doesn't fit. Prepared to be crushed under the weight of overwhelming financial power, Kazuma Kiryu. Whoopsie! Finance King Lackeys, what an intimidating name. <laughs> How am I gonna get past them? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Hey, you. Stop, stop that. I got chairs! Oh, that's really bad news for you that I have chairs. Oof. Are you the same guys from before? You seem like the same guys from before. I'm inside the table. Just charge me up real quick. Ow. Okay, not up, not up to the best start. That caused me some troubles. There we go. You're down your last health bar now, at least. Gonna do one of these real quick. There we go. And kick. Always fun. Oh, you broke the table now. I think you had to pay for that. Did you get did you get did you get pre-approved permission to break that table? Is it against is that against company interests? Oh, those you can't grab those plants? Fine. Hello. Oh, it's broken. Awkward. There we go. He's probably fine. Oh, no, he's dead. Get down. Kiryu-san. Well, well. None too shabby, Kiryu-kun. But isn't it... But it's too little too late. Alright, Yamanoi, hand over the rest of the documents. I don't think... I didn't think I'd ever want to see your face again, but then again, I never thought we'd be able to come to an agreement like this. And now, Kamurocho will be mine. I can use the city to make billions upon billions. Trillions, even. 
Life is good. Isn't that right, Yamanoi? Are you sure about that? I've been waiting for this moment. I wouldn't have been able to get close to you unless I'd hand over the deeds. Yamanoi, you're double-crossing me. As your former business partner, I can't allow you to keep doing this. I love this city, so I'll put an end to you myself. There are some things money can't buy, like a human life. I'll prove that to you right now. Wait, let's talk about this. I'll give you as much money as you want, just don't kill me. Like I said, not everybody can be bought. Then, I'll turn myself in. I'll own up to all the crimes I've committed. There, isn't that enough for you? You know, I just don't believe you. Let's finish this. No, D don't do this. This is the end. Stop! Marina? Yamanoi-san, I understand how you feel, but if you do this, you'll be no better than the Finance King. Also, the, all that you need to do to beat the Finance King was just to threaten him with a gun once? <laughs> do you think this empire would have fallen by now? Besides, I can't allow you to throw away your life for this. Marina, what's going on? I'm sorry I couldn't tell you until now. I... I'm actually a detective with the police. What? The hell? This dirty money game that's had Kamurocho in its grasp. I went undercover at Yamanoi Sound's place to discover who was behind it at all. I thought I'd find the mastermind responsible for the money game sooner or later if I worked there. The police had learned about the money game from countless victims of strong arm tactics and violence. But an, om an open investigation would only result in mastermind ditching his henchmen and disappearing. That's why I've been working undercover. Well now, that totally makes sense. No wonder you were such an able secretary. We're going to perform a thorough search of this building now. I expect you'll find ample evidence of the Finance King's illegal, illegal activities. So you don't have to kill him. We'll make sure he pays for his crimes, the right way. What? You're finished, Finance King. Damn it! I was so close! I'm sorry I couldn't tell you, Mr. President. And thank you. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. <laughs> <laughs> You're one hell of an actress. You sure had me fooled. Now, there's still plenty of work to be done cleaning up Kamurocho after these criminals are gone. Let's go back, Yamanoi-san. And Mr. President? Uh. Right. Let's go, Yamanoi-san. Yes. Hey, happy ending. Why are we leaving the gun? Is he just gonna shoot himself? I'm not going down like this. Never. The money I made is mine. Nobody can take it from me. The police? Who cares? Screw the rules. I have money. All of you. And the cops. I'll kill everyone. And take everything. I'll still become a trillionaire. <laughs> you. This guy's beyond saving. Both of you stand back. The hell's wrong with you? I've got a gun. If you think you can stop me with a toy like that, you've got another thing coming. You'll pay for your crime soon enough. But before that, you need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Cure you. I really can't stand you, you know that? I'm not letting you stop me. Now die. Yeah, guns haven't gone really well against Kiryu so far. He's been shot a lot at take the fights as being canon, which they're not usually. Oh my god, his entire table. I got your table. Oof. Oof. That's just a bad time. Hi. Got more piece of table. I didn't realize how many pieces of table were going to be so useful. Kick! Kick! <laughs> 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 
great. Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> There's so much debris in the room. Attempted murder, obstruction of justice, and many other charges backed up by evidence seized by from the billionaire's room. The finance king is going away for a long time. So it's all over. What's the matter? You don't seem happy. Yeah. No. He and I once worked together toward the same ideals, after all. If I had only been firm back then and stopped him, we might have avoided all this. I might have even saved him. When I think of that, I can't bear it. Money is a terrifying thing. It has the power to corrupt, to change people. True, money does have the power to change people. But I think it all depends on the person who uses it. What? If money has the power to corrupt people, it should also have the power to change people for the better. Depending on how much money is, depending on how money is used, it can improve a city and the lives of the people who live in it. Those who have money need to figure out the best way to do that. It comes with responsibility. You're right. We'll need to think about how to best use the money we have now. So that this city and its citizens can shine even brighter. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thanks to your help, the Finance King is under arrest. As for the other billionaires who worked for him, their actions were in large part due to his manipulative orders, so their sentences should be relatively light. A lot of work remains to return to return Camacho back to what it was before, and we really can't do it without their help, so instead of being arrested, they'll work at our office. They'll be under my supervision throughout their probation. Besides, all of them have shown remorse for what they did. I see. Thanks for arranging that. Oh, don't mention it. What's important is the future. True that. But once this city is revitalized, someone else might emerge to try and finish what the Finance King started. Such as maybe the main plot of the game or something. That's true. People will always be drawn to power of money. But still, I'm sure Kamurocho will be okay. Why do you say that? Because you're here, President Kiryu. <laughs> <laughs> you give me too much credit. Besides, who knows where I might end up. I guess so. But I still get the feeling that no matter what happens, your path will take you back here. Huh. <laughs> is that what you've deduced, detective? <laughs> yep, it sure is. I have to supervise the billionaires as well as watch over Kamarocho. Would it be alright if I remain at the office? Hi. Of course. I look forward to continuing to work with you, Marina-san. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Alright. Everyone's waiting for us back at the office. Let's go home. Uh. Yeah. Oh, happy ending. Again. Another ending. We got the dragon of Dojima. You have to press X square on the pause menu's top screen to switch the, the style? Because it didn't fit on the D-pad, I guess? Oops. Alright, it's almost time to open for business today, Kiryu san Would you say a few words? Uh. Alright. Uh, I'm not really used to this sort of thing. Now, now. Everyone's waiting for you. Mm. Okay. We got Kamarcho back from the Finance King. But what's more important is where we go from here. We've got to restore Kamarocho, repair the damage done to it, and make it even better for everyone who lives there. Just like Yamanoi-san, I love this city. I want to help to make it a better place. 
Fortunately for us, we have the real estate and the financial resources to make that happen. But I'll need your help to do it. Let's do this together. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back to work. Okay, we have a client coming in to see us now, so I'll show I'll show them in. It's an important client, so please look your best. Uh. Got it. <laughs> the glasses are back. <laughs> My name is Kiryu. How can we help you today? And credits. Except no credits, because it's not the end of the game, because it's not the main story. <laughs> I was expecting some sort of surprise reveal about who the person was, but of course, but uh, yeah, it's just that fitting little menu, of course. Dragon of Dojima's tree. Oh my god! Look at this nightmare thing, and who knows what how the locking even works? Not sure. The so all three branches look totally even, but then there's also these things down here. U Ultra heat action power uh, provides you with strength beyond your normal limits. This ability is only within reach of those who seek the pinnacle of power. Applies to all of Kiryu's battle styles. Oh. So it just makes you better and better with heat actions generally across all of your trees, period. Oh yeah, this all applies to all of my battle styles also. Provides you with strength beyond your normal limits. Ultra heat wave. Wow, this whole tree just makes your entire character better. Ultra heat boost. Oh, health boost. It oh, it only costs 10 million. That's surprisingly small. Huh. Well, this is bound to make my character scary. This is the type of stuff that's there for the, uh... The people that are in that demographic that's like, Oh yeah, I can't wait to do New Game Plus where I play the entire game again. Which I... Not super into the idea of that, just because I'm like, I already beat the game. Do I need to? Do I really need to beat it again? I'm like, what's this over here? Oh, the first ultimate heat action is actually before then, but it costs a billion, huh? I could see myself playing a game again, like years down the line, when I when it's like times passed and I've forgotten a lot of it. But I'm definitely not in the tar target demographic that wants to immediately replay a game I just beat. It, when the game itself isn't really about, uh... Let's watch the health bar go up, because I haven't been looking... Oh, wow, that is a very tiny health boost. That said, there's a lot of them here. Basically, just me this just means I will always have more places to pour money into. Basically. Like, I can see myself replaying a game in two different conditions. One... Just a, no a regular game, but tons of, like, years have passed, so it's like, oh, let's revisit this old classic. And then the other thing is a game where the game changes considerably from playthrough to playthrough. It's so, like, either a game where you make tons of story decisions and I want to see what else can happen besides what happened in my playthrough, or a game that isn't really story-driven, but is instead mechanically driven and you can play it differently from playthrough to playthrough. What comes to mind there is a game like This War of Mine, which is more of like a... a management thing and the variables can all be shifted in and out to make the playthrough different each time. And you can even try to employ different strategies and stuff like that. So much money! So much money! Right. You might be wondering why the episode's not over yet. I figured we might as well use this new style, right? As our big closer for this series. At which point we're probably saying goodbye to Yakuza Zero forever. I'll keep the save file around, so, like, in some distant past, and in some distant future, maybe I'll, like, wander around Yakuza Zero's landscape once again and do some more side quests that I never did the first time around. But, uh, now, Yaku now right now, Yakuza Kiwami is out, and I want to play the next Yakuza game. And I want to play through the series, hopefully. Um... Let's give you guys an update on that, by the way. So during this during this playthrough, I talked about the idea of I was I, I talked about a terrifyingly ambitious idea, which is that I was gonna uh, I was thinking about the idea of binge, of binging through the entire series. I'm having massive second thoughts on that. I want to play all the Yakuza games. I do, and I think I will eventually, but I don't want to binge them all back to back. Two things: one, 
I think the Yakuza series is genuinely too long for me to actually beat all of them in the time between now and when uh, the next and when Yakuza 6 comes out. First of all, I'd like to do Dead Souls, even though that's like a non-canon spin-off side title, uh, which is a bonus thing. But even if I don't, don't even if I don't do Dead Souls, it's one, two, three, four, five. I need to do five Yakuza games between zero and six, which this this game was 70 episodes long. I've heard the other ones are shorter, but it's still like that's a lot. If we're charitable and say each game takes a month, which some of them might take more than a month, that's still like a lot of game to get through between the releases of Yakuza Zero. I mean, Yakuza Kiwami, the remake of one, and Yakuza 6. And uh, I wanted to wait for Yakuza Kiwami to come out, so I didn't start this uh, project sooner, because it just made sense to play that instead of the original Yakuza 0, uh, or original Yakuza 1, given the option. Let's see, how do I change... so hit square? Dragon of Dojima. We'll see how that goes. So what I think I'm going to do instead is... I'm going to play Yakuza Kiwami. And then I'll probably wait a month or two or something, just, you know, just hang out, take a break. And then I'll play Yakuza 2 at some point. And then we'll take a break, and then I'll play Yakuza 3 at some point. And Yakuza 6 will come out at some point in this process, and I will not play it. Because I want to play the games in order. And I'll just eventually get to Yakuza 6 when I get to it. When, it's, when, when it is genuinely the next game in the series. And who knows, maybe if they make a Yakuza 7, I'll be on time for that one. But uh, while, while it was nice being on time for Yakuza 0 and Yakuza 1 remake, I, I just can't get through the entire series in time for Yakuza 6, I think. If it was casual play and I wasn't doing a Let's Play series, I probably could binge through all of them back to back, just sitting here and just zoning out and just playing through the games. But Let's Play with daily schedules, I don't think the timing will work. But also, I don't want to ruin this, because like, I, like I like Yakuza 0, and I assume I'll like the other games too. I don't want to binge the games. I don't want to be playing Yakuza games non-stop for like eight months straight and then burn myself out on the franchise and then just be forcing myself through it either. So I'd, I'd rather make sure I enjoy these oh, games. Yeah. Hey. You're the last person I wanted to meet. That's not very nice. Glad I ran into you. I'm not. Being followed by a walking pile of muscle for some aggressive panhandling is not my idea of fun. Don't hate me. Hate your strength. That's what makes you an obstacle in my path to becoming the strongest living creature on the planet. As long as you're stronger than me, I'll keep coming back to fight you until I'm standing on top of the food chain. Then will you stop these shakedowns if I just admit defeat? Yeah. Sorry, can't do that. I need the dough. So that's what it boils down to after all. You can't imagine how my last training cost me. I'm not interested. I'll just have to hunt, hurt you enough that you start running away at the mere sight of me. <laughs> sure. Don't want to. I don't want you to hold back. It wouldn't. I, I, it wouldn't count if you did. I'll finally defeat you and get one step closer to becoming the apex predator. So bring it on. Oh wait, I forgot. To, did I forget to spend my money? Can I do that here? I think I can just do it here. Yay! I was like, I forgot to spend it. Whoops. Boom. Ultimate heat action. Unfortunately, these descriptions are useless. So, you have to go f check somewhere else to figure out what the description means, I guess. Because they're not really telling me right now. Let's get the attack boost 3. Heat wave 3. At this point, you're just getting comically more powerful. Oh, those are two. those are 200,000? That's all we can afford there for now. And I believe every other tree doesn't have... Anything left in the 100,000 tier. Maybe you, because I just unlocked a new chunk of you. That's 400,000, so no. Okay, then. Let's get that health back up. Dragon of Dojima! Ow, my face. Ow. Ow. This is a nasty way to learn an entirely new moveset I've never used before. <laughs> May have not been the best plan. Oops. That was really not a good move either. Get up. Oh, Jesus, my health. <laughs> this is a bad idea. 
Oh, oh, I bought tough. I accidentally bought toughness Z's. These suck. Those aren't stamina and royales. I mixed up the yellow labels. Ow. Slowest move set ever. Ow. God damn. Yeah, this is this is rough. I have no idea how to control this character. Whew. If I go for the grab? Nope, can't grab him. How am I gonna get a heat action off? Yeah, grabs just don't work on this guy at all. Ow. Get up. Ah, oh, shit. Jesus. I basically don't know what I'm doing right now, and it's really showing. I'm at, like, I'm, like, in danger right now. Damn. There's a move. Oh, can't do it when he's down either. Can I grab this thing over here? Nope. I can just grab something to hit you with. There's something. Oh, nope. Out of bounds, apparently. Even though it highlighted. Ow. Oh, Jesus. What is up with his damage values? I'm going to lose. Which I should, probably should be expected, because this guy's really high. This guy's meant for endgame, but I don't know how to use this moveset. <laughs> Oop. Ow. Concentrating now. I found something that's working. <laughs> Finish him! Finish him! <laughs> There's some really cool heat moves hidden in that move set. Hey, beat him five times. Face it, I beat you again. Still not giving up. I went through hell training on that godforsaken island, and yet you beat me just like that? Island? Wait. Don't tell me you bought an island this time. Oh. I did, with the money I earned on the street. An uninhabited remote island in the Pacific. It was a completely new experience, the ideal place to strengthen my body and mind. Island or mountain, what's the difference? Either way, you're just training alone. Sounds like you wasted a lot of money. <laughs> It shows how little you know. You've never experienced what anime is. I mean, what real hell is like. What? You're not alone on an island. You're alone on an island with nothing but ocean around. If you're hurting or dying, there's no one to come and help you. You have to get back on your own, or not at all. Now that's real isolation. Not like in the movie. Not, not like in the mountains, where you can simply walk back to civilization if the need arises. Mm. Okay, that does sound tough. That's not all. I fought sharks and killer whales with my bare hands and rose from the waves stronger than ever. It's nothing like fighting on land. You can't move freely when fighting underwater. Your enemy has every natural advantage. It's a true test of your predatory abilities. What the hell did you fight sharks and killer whales for? You can't call yourself the strongest living creature on the planet if you can't even beat the little fishy. But I lost to you again. My training wasn't good enough. I was so sure I'd grown oceanically stronger. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no. You just showed me that I still haven't reached my true potential. I still have room to grow stronger. I gotta get going. Got to think of a new way to train. 
What a gloriously stupid story arc. <laughs> That's what I call it, obsession. He'll be back, stronger than ever. I'll have to be ready for him when it happens. Well, that was Dragon of Dojima. Uh, I'm... Was, I did terribly trying to figure out what exactly what to expect of it and how to react. Uh, doing it in a shakedown match isn't the best call because, of course, they're really tough. But I, I was like, let's do something climactic for the last fight. And so we did, I guess. And those were... We got to see two really cool heat actions, at least. I got the encounter fighter for that guy, but I actually kind of like just being able to avoid the mobs that will interrupt me when I'm running across town because they can see them all on the map. Anyway, this is Yakuza Zero, guys. Thanks for watching, like always. I'll see you next time, and tomorrow we should be starting Yakuza Kiwami, the remake of Yakuza 1, the chronological sequel to this game. Both new releases, but also a game from a long time ago. You know how it works. Bye!